Good afternoon, guys. Well, we have started our new job here, and we will be here for a couple weeks anyway. You can see behind me, big brush pile. That uh, that is going to become grindings. I'm sure I mentioned that in my other video. But we got a bit of, you can see, a little bit of firewood here and there. And the excavator that's helping us. Um, you can see we got a pretty big hole there. I'll explain a bit what's going on here. Is we are doing, this will be green space. So what we are doing is removing all ash down to, I forget the size. It's all painted, so it doesn't matter. We're not measuring or whatever. Whatever's painted blue gets removed. And anything within the first 25 meters of the bush in, 25 meters being approximately 75 feet, is getting completely removed. So we'll cut it down, top and all comes out. And that's why we get such a big pile here. Interior tree, interior ash trees, uh, I believe it's, uh, anything over uh, six inches, I think, is 90% removal. So they're leaving very few ash trees in there. I don't know why they just don't remove them all because they're all dead anyway. Yeah, and that we're allowed to leave a portion of, of uh, tops in there, but they don't want much. I forget what the percentage, 10% or something. It's very, very minor, but... So we got this big pile, it will be ground and why uh, the grindings will stay on site. And those grindings, they're gonna replant in here because obviously giant holes in here. So these holes will be filled, that they'll replant. They'll be filled with new trees, saplings. Um, I forget what they call them, They're just small guys. And they'll use the chip to uh, chip around the new uh, planting so they want them left. Uh, which is nice. It's kind of a pain to get stuff out here. I'm not gonna show behind Anymore behind behind you where you're watching. Don't turn around. Don't don't I told you don't turn around Anyway, I'm just playing. Uh, there's some names there. I just don't want out there uh, Just just because uh, Hopefully I didn't show it in the beginning because if not, I'm gonna have to blur that all out and now you're gonna go back and see if I did blur it or not. But the boss is down there with the bungee head. You have already seen that and that thing is awesome. And like I said, I'll get more in depth on that. Uh, just letting the boss get a little bit more comfortable with it. And we're cutting a lot of small stuff, kind of boring as you saw in the video, but um, I'll show you. Let me show you some of this wood that uh, we've taken out of here. I think I'm blabbing a bit too much. This stuff's been dead about four years. But, but there, ash borer, ash borer, ash borer, boop, ash borer, 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 ash borer. Filled with it. Anyway, I will get more video of that. And uh, there will be lots of video coming off this. So. Anyway, stay tuned for more coming up. Look at the size of this guy. That is one massive, ugly, rotten ash tree. That is going to make some noise when it hits the ground. Oh, look at it all. Ash, 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 ash. It's all ash. Look at it all. All ash. All to be removed. All this. Ooh, there'll be nothing left. Maybe I'll even come back. Maybe I'll even come back to the stump, do a little video and show you guys what it looks like. 
there is a lot of wood in here and we're gonna do it in two weeks hopefully two weeks that's the idea the boss is cutting already with our new toy but we'll get her done we got another crew helping us and they're gonna hammer off all this so yeah gonna be good but... They're 27 feet long, 26 feet long, let's say, for the crotch. Let's go check it out. Whoa! That's icy. That's a 2-4 bar, right? 2-4 bar goes right to the heart, so. Decent sized tree. All right guys, I know when I said that grapple was for sale, I got a lot of guys interested, so I'm gonna try another sales, sales pitch. I got a washer, hardly used, like new. This has gotta be a, a 2019 model. Oh, uh, very little damage. That, uh, that should come out. And I got a stove. It's a little TLC, a little fresh, uh, you know, high temp paint. It'll look good. Let's see, what's that? A lassie. It was his lassie day. <laughs> Sounds like a David Haley joke. Oh, things are getting busy now. So, we're taking the brush. Ooh, down around, we're gonna put it on the back side of this. Just so we don't run out of room where we are, this landing. Oh, don't show too much. There's a lot going on around here. Busy, busy. Another grapple full on the pile. And he cut that with a buncher, so I don't have my tape on me, but... Oh, that's probably 12 inches anyway. So that's a decent tree to cut. <coughs> that's a big bugger. A big rotten bugger. Watch the mice come running out.
That's a big boy. <laughs> and it will probably, <laughs> it's all gonna be ground. Oh, what a waste. Rotten. Not a good stick on it. Bye-bye. Hammer down now. He's, we got the grapple skidder skidding it up. The hole laying it out. Brush hole right there. Oh, what's that? Firewood there. Saw logs there. And that's our new toy. I got a video coming up of that. Um, just kind of when it showed up and us running it. No talking in it. I'll put that after uh, after this video. Kind of explains, but this mouse on the skid steer. It does have an accumulator arm. I took that off. They're doing an update on it. Uh, beefing it up a little bit more. But... got quadco teeth on it uh, it's high flow works pretty good on the Kubota he's got some decent sized trees you will cut a 20 inch tree I think 13 or 14 inches the max we've done so far and probably all you definitely don't want to grab it you just want to cut and push. <coughs> There's some neat, uh, this will be handy. It's really handy for this job we're on now. A lot of small stuff and a lot of bent over stuff from the 2013 ice storm. So just faster, safer, doesn't wear a guy out. And I could be doing other stuff up here on the landing while he's cutting. So we're just getting warmed up here. So we got a bit, I don't know, 1,500 feet of logs up there or so. Probably two loads of firewood. Probably another eight. Hopefully eight, if not more. Uh, loads of firewood, two loads of saw logs. Hopefully that's how it works out. That's what we think is in the bush. There's no tallies on it. Oh, you're here. There's no tallies on it just because um, it's a total ash removal. So they, I think it's 2,600 trees. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been trying to get over this cold for like three weeks now and it just won't go away. The cough just driving me mental. But yeah, it's going good. I'll have way more. I'll do a more informative thing on this head. It's just, it's cold and the wind is blowing and the audio probably sucks on this. And speaking about bad audio, I posted that video on the Kubota. I'll film him running. I posted that video on the Kubota, me running it, and I know the audio was kind of bad. The GoPro's behind me, so my voice doesn't carry as well to it. Plus, it's a little bit loud in that cab. Um, yeah, I need the adapter for a Hero 5 is what I need. An adapter, microphone, and uh, the holder for the adapter and the microphone for it. I don't know if I'm getting that. That's almost a couple hundred bucks by the time it's all said and done. I may just buy a Hero 4. I try to find a Hero 4 used just for doing stuff like that and get it like a lapel mic I can just plug in. GoPro decided to change that when they went to Hero 5 and up. 
you need this silly adapter that no one else makes but GoPro right now. Um, if anybody knows of someone else that makes it cheaper or so, but it's just ridiculous. I don't know why. It's just the silliest thing they did, in my opinion. I'm sure everybody else thinks that. But I'll get that audio figured out. I'm trying to stay on a bit of a budget with this and do it. So it's just my phone and GoPro. But there she is, an FBS 752 Bombalite Feller Buncher head with accumulator on. This is number three that they made, and I think there's five out there. So it's pretty sweet. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.